Blue Sky Bio would like to introduce you to power-driven ridge splitting. The implants are Blue Sky Bio, the ridge split tools are by MIS. This is a case with a very narrow ridge that measured just 4 millimeters via bone sound ca sounding calipers, as you can see. We used a modified piezo tip so we could split it with a piezo surgery unit. There's the tip, here's a panorex of the case. Here's a tip loaded in place on a NSK piezo unit. And we're going to do the flap and the bone split with the piezo unit. Here we go, we're going to begin to split the tissue. Piezo unit is on, it has fiber optic control as you can see to help us in the surgery. And we're going to advance past the flap and begin splitting the bone. The closed flap technique is used so that we can preserve the blood supply over the buccal plate. We have a little bit of a flap and we're going to introduce a chisel and we use it without a mallet into the flap itself, into the bone flap and begin pushing just by hand without a mallet and pushing the buccal bone ap uh, facially and introducing the chisel just enough so that we can widen the bone by about a millimeter or two. Once we've got it widened by about a millimeter or two, we can use the Blue Sky Bio starter drill, which has a nice step to it of about one and a half millimeters on the first tip, widening out to about two millimeters to 2.2 millimeters at the rest of it. After it's introduced all the way into the now bone that's widened just a bit, we're going to introduce a 2.2 Blue Sky Bio drill. After we've uh, used that to get our, begin our osteotomy, we'll take an extra inch or parallel. And now we have enough width to begin introducing our wedges. They're introduced by power-driven units at 55 newton centimeters. And we're going to slowly tap their way in and continue widening out the ridge so that it's wide enough so we can introduce our final drill, which would be 2.8 and then 3.5 millimeters. So at 55 newton centimeters, slowly going in, and then afterwards reversing. After that happens, we're going to go ahead and progressively widen it. Now we're going to use a wider the next step widening, again, 55 newton centimeters at very slow RPM to begin widening out that narrow ridge. After we've introduced it all the way, we'll put the Novog unit in reverse and reverse it out. And then we're going to use the next wider tip. Again, our ideal and goal is to get the apical portion of the bone widened till it's about 2.8 millimeters in diameter and the top so it's about three and a half. Again at 55 newton centimeters introducing it all the way. After we've done that we're going to reverse it and back it out slowly. And again the flap is just just at the uh, surface. Now the bone is wide enough we're going to go ahead and introduce our 2.8 millimeter drill followed by three and a half. The flap that you see is just over the crest of the ridge. It doesn't go any further. That's a 2.8 millimeter Blue Sky Buyer Super Drill. And then we're going to go ahead and introduce our final drill, which in this case is 3.5 millimeters. Imagine we're putting in a 3. Point, we've widened enough to introduce a 3.5 millimeter osteotomy drill, and yet the whole bone was about four millimeters wide. And now we're able to put in a 4.1 millimeter implant in our mountless design, and it won't fall off even if we shake it. We can introduce it. Slow movement, about 20 RPM, 30 RPM at 30 newton centimeters till it's seated all the way. Now we've removed it, very easy to do. And now we're ready to scallop our tissue. is going to be scalloped and then sutured into place for the final case.